kill himself. The mushrooms become a hallucinogenic. Oh, good ass shit to put on your sandwich. <laughs> Because your parents did something that makes it right. Your parents also had their brains mashed 
black person. Oh, you can't change. And the only thing you're doing is, is that socialization. There's only one person where the match down. And that's the one you don't get offended by. Yes. Word of What? Fornication under the influence of the king. You see what I'm saying? I mean, so, but my point, even the word shit, a shit, and I talked about this before, is an ancient name for God. Excrement, that which is up behind in the cosmos. You get the word shit, 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 because even the word shit are set prior to the Osirian thing set with the primordial deity of all time. You see, a uh, 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 set text, a uh, 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 shit text, a uh, Melchizedek, all of these things here in these particular aspects and all. It's straight up cam, cam. Like the point I'm trying to make here is everything we do is based on the socialization. You know, we are socialized to think that happy here and black is ugly. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And somehow, uh, that yellow baby just is just is the sweetest child in the damn world. Mm -hmm. You know, but we never call the big black big little baby with the nappy hair pretty. We say, "Oh, that's a fine baby." <laughs> that's socialization. That's socialization. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows the yellow baby. Oh yeah, straight hair. We're just straight hair. You know, that's socialization. What is a good braid of hair? What is a good braid of hair? Now, you know, we don't want people that's got braids in our hair. We got a bad braid of hair. That's socialization. The concept here is, the concept here is, we must turn to our fears. Yes. Because that's what's going to happen here. It, it, it's, it's going on right now. And not only that, uh, a lot of you right now are going through problems. And you're going through problems because you hold certain things dear. The cycle is pulling away from, it's called detachment. The cycle now is going into another era. You're holding things dear and you need to let go. Could be your children. Could be the man, could be the woman, could be your children. It could be something material. You got to let it go. Sometimes let go don't mean you got to get rid of it. Once you let it go, it comes back to you. But you have to let it go. Because we're talking about a spiritual aspect. And some things need, you need to let go. You see what I'm saying? What's that? Oh, you can talk to Oh, oh. So you need, to, you, you need to let go. Now, so let me go for my vision and all. But the concept here is don't spend money. You don't got to. Then you come up here and spend twenty dollars for me to come up here and give you some stuff uh -huh. that you already know. It's running a minute. You understand what I'm saying? That's a concert. You already bought the damn record. You bought the CD. Now you want to have a nigga sing it in your ear? Fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The concept here is, but on the other hand, the concept here is. Every now and then you need to bring something in that borders beyond the appearance. That's the key. The appearance. We keep going over and over that broken record on things, and we all know it. It's been chronicled and cataloged black psychology on what we are not. You see what I'm saying? Or what we're not. But then again, on the other hand, there might be some sublime with that in it. We are not in a society. That now, uh, we got a brother around the liquor store. He stand around the liquor store, he get up in the morning, he go around the liquor store. He got to do that every time, every city. He sit around there, he stay drunk all day. Okay. He stay drunk all day, and he dies, and he go on about his business. Oh, uh, believe me, to me, that is an ultimate lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> You got the Queen of England that make three hundred million dollars a day and ain't never worked. Sitting on her ass, got corners on her ass, big as damn Ohio. <laughs> but you praise us for that. That's called royalty. This depends on your perspective. Oh, he lied. So what? We all gonna die. Okay. That's another. That is the ultimate key. My concept here is. Is it that bad? It depends on your, it depends on your perspective. It depends on your perspective.
You see what I'm saying? 13 is a sacred number. So therefore, when they deliberated, they should have told them to get past the 13, then we go into the liberation. Give them a week off. But shoot, they went into the liberation that weekend, but that 13 hit, they came out and said, hey, we got it. You see what I'm saying? So it's like this. Very, very powerful. That particular energy uh, uh, during, that, uh, during that particular time. Spiritual. You know, we got to get into this today because it's a, everything is, is a lot of stuff that's going around this particular spirit from spirit. Now, what I want to go, I'm going to go right into that. Well, let me pull my out of Right
like a lot of no grapefruit juice or whatever. Damn that. All right, but going back to the stuff, the real mystery is that the Kundalini energy is what they're talking about is the satanic energy. I'm a dollars. There ain't no welfare. No man. And they can do no new things. People not in the street. And the people not in the street? No, no, no. We go to bed one night with people in the projects and wake up two weeks later and they gone. You see what I'm saying? They gone. So I'm trying to say here is something is, you know what I'm saying? And black people just riding out every day trying to get to their job. That's the problem. The job. The job. Trying to get paid. Trying to get paid. Trying to get paid. Now I do Trying to get paid too big. That's right. Uh, you want to make shit life easy for you? First thing you do is, uh, you got some children over motherfucking 20? Yeah. Cut them off. I know y'all don't want to hear that shit. Sure. It ain't about no that, that damn family shit you talking about gonna leave your ass at the poor house. Thank you. That's right. See what I'm saying? Cut them motherfuckers loose. Put them out? You ain't got to put them out. Just, yeah. Well, I don't know what you do. <laughs> See, what it is, is we, we do too damn much. That's right. That's right. That's right. You see, you do too much, but see, what's happening here is, uh, you are the people, some of you spiritual people are the ones that need to cut ties so you can do spiritual shit. But you can't do it because you got a motherfucking rocket. You see what I'm saying? You got a damn rocket. You know, I'm getting conscious mothers calling me, can we do a ritual? My son shot at the police. Oh, yeah, man, come on now. Uh, then the metal suit probably did you. My son stole a car, and you know what these other folks did? They got the car from him and went and killed somebody. Can you believe me? I'm like, your son stole a damn car, and they got the car from him also. Oh, fuck what your son did. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn, I mean, listen to this now. Let's get out of the damn lunacy here now. You see what I'm saying? But it's the same thing because you are taking your energy and taking your energy and expending it on an uh, entity that you don't even supposed to be dealing with after a certain rearing process. Right. You're supposed to let them go. Hell, that damn turtle show you that shit. Right. Motherfucking turtle has your egg. Your motherfucker be in the ocean in the next hour. Tyler be flying the fuck away. You be hanging on the motherfucking nigga that sent and shit. Nigga under. Had you more at your house by ten times. Because he all fucked up. And you got a spiritual energy that you can't do. That's what they say. No, I think I said tell you about that the last time. They say, uh, some of these entities, they have a, a ray of light on you. And the spirit, and the ones that don't want you to rise, they can see that light yeah. incarnating to the earth. Yeah. And they will send two forces that is antagonistic to, to hold you down and be the goddamn brothers and sisters. Your right. uncles, your aunts. Yeah. And you be in the damn family, and all the motherfuckers be fucked up. You be the only one with light. That's the way the spiritual shit go. You ain't figured out shit. You be incarnated and you be fucked up. Your brother be fucked up. Your mama be fucked up. That's a whole other entity there. You see what I'm saying? You got parents who don't like their children. You see what I'm saying? You got brothers and sisters fucked up and you be the only one in there and they hold you down. And you you be a broken person because of your family members, the one that's close to you. And a lot of times you just be wanting to get acceptance from them. They be like, fuck you. That's why you got to let them out. And it can come in your damn children too. Now you got some of them on the frequency. You know the child is on the frequency. That's right. And you know the motherfuckers who ain't. You see what I'm saying? It's like that. Then you will have a child that's on the frequency, and you have a problem getting on the frequency, and you will really heal that child. Some people. Wow. So it's a whole thing. It's a warfare, but the warfare you're thinking is right in the whole family complex, that's in the right. structure. That's but in the spirit world, you got to understand that's the way the turmoil is going down here, because it's not just the white man. There's a whole other spiritual realm that you should have decoded. Yeah. Because it's a family side. They don't want to give over the rings of power, so they make it hard for you. That's right. And they do it through family members. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They do it through family members. So it's, it's very key that you understand 
what's going on. So this particular thing here in the projects, you see what I'm saying? This is just nothing. They just put this out now. So when you ask the question on what happened to the brothers and sisters in the project,